Reporting from Acuris in New York, I'm Hema Oza, keeping an eye on Acuris with some of the biggest headlines last week. Extract Research analyzed what could happen to L Brand's debt if it split the company into two. If Victoria's Secret were spun out, the debt would be expected to remain at L Brands as is, except that the guaranteed notes would lose credit support from Victoria's Secret. Things are more interesting if Bath & Body Works were spun out, as it could comprise substantially all assets. If that were the case, we would expect the bonds to travel with Bath & Body Works, but without guarantees from Victoria's Secret, and it could also constitute a change of control. Next, Debtwire posted that an ad hoc group of Samarco Minerasau bondholders decided to accelerate debt, adding pressure to negotiations. The Brazilian miners bondholders have been patients since coupon payments ceased three years ago, waiting for an accurate timeline for it to restart operations. However, last week they grew impatient. Several of the largest holders, including Ashmore and Oak Tree, hope to push Samarco to restart negotiations and also better position themselves versus bank creditors. Finally, Merger Market reported that a broad set of companies are considering direct listings in lieu of the more traditional initial public offering route to the public markets. Following the much-hyped recent direct listings of household names such as Spotify and Slack, interest is now coming from companies of all sizes across sectors and geographies, citing senior executives at the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ. San Francisco-based enterprise software maker Asana is the latest company to confirm its intention to pursue a direct listing, while Airbnb, DoorDash, GitLab, and Velodyne LiDAR are also considering the option. And that's an eye on Acuras. Stay tuned for more headlines next week.